Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and this week I'm using the Warms My Heart stamp set. It's a really, really cute stamp set. I've got four images of some cute girls and I especially love this one. It reminds me of my daughters. They wear their hair like that a lot. And of course, you guys know I love pumpkins. So we're gonna make this card and I've got my Stampin' Blends ready. Um, you can, of course, color this any way you want, but I prefer to use Stampin' Blends, so that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna stamp our girl in Memento Black. If you're gonna use uh, Stampin' Blend markers, which are al alcohol markers, you want to use um, Memento Black as your ink. All right, now I chose blue. I wanted blue to go with my orange pumpkins because blue is on the opposite side of the color wheel. And so it always looks really good with orange. So I'm gonna start out with Boho Blue Light, and I'm using my bullet point end of my marker. I prefer this end because it just helps me stay in line a little bit better, and I feel like I have more control. All right, so I'm gonna do the blue, the light blue. We're gonna do her overalls. Take your time, get your glasses if you need them. I've got mine on. I'm gonna add some dark blue here underneath her leg where there would be a shadow. All right, like that. And then there would be a shadow here under her arm and then a shadow where that, that pumpkin covers things up. Now I'm actually gonna flip over on my light boho blue to the brush tip and just kind of blend that up, brush that darker color up like that. All right, for her boots, I'm gonna use a light pumpkin pie. And we'll color those in. I'm gonna leave her socks and her shirt white. Just gives us a less, less to color. Of course, you know, you can change the colors if you want. Now my girls are blonde, so I'm gonna use wild wheat. I think wild wheat's a great color for kind of a dirty blonde. Use the light, and then I'm gonna take the dark wild wheat and just kind of add in a little bit here like that, just a little bit of variety and color. Okay, so now for their skin, we've got a bunch of natural skin tone blends. Um, use whatever you want. I am actually using the lightest one there. Okay, now for the pumpkins. We're gonna start with pumpkin pie here on the bottom. And, oh, I forgot to color her hand. I'll have to come back and do that. Let's see, make sure I have light. Yep, light pumpkin pie. We have three oranges here. We've got pumpkin pie, peach pie, and Cajun craze. And um, you have to look at your peach pie and your pumpkin pie markers to make sure that you've got the right ones because they, they look a lot alike. All right, I'm gonna take my dark and just outline those lines and then just come down here around where their, her hand would be and kind of up the side a little bit with a shadow and then take my light and just blend all that to the top. All right, our next mark, our next pumpkin is going to be Cajun Craze. So I will take my light Cajun Craze and I have to slow down because we're kind of getting into these little small areas here. All right, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the dark up from the bottom like that. And then last but not least, we've got our little peach pie pumpkin and I'm just gonna use that light again and take the dark and add just a little bit of color there at the bottom. Okay, now let me fix her hand and then we'll get the pecan pie light again and color those stems. Now, unfortunately, there are no dyes that go with this set, but that's okay. I have got my um, paper snips and I'm gonna cut away all the extra. I have two other projects using uh, this stamp set on YouTube if you're looking for more ideas. And I promise the other two, you don't have to fussy cut, just this one. Now I'm gonna stay kind of close to the edge of the image. I'm gonna come back and get that stuff in a minute. And notice I'm cutting off those little squiggly vines that are there. Those are too hard to cut out. 
but I'm staying just right on the outside of the black line, going around, just leaving a very skinny white border, cut off that extra paper as you go. Stay in the middle of your scissors and use your opposite hand to turn the paper. And we'll cut that piece off. Going all the way around. All right, let's snip off a little bit extra. Now, to get into here, I'm just gonna very carefully go right around the edge. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Just do the best you can do. But try not to cut into that black line. Stay right on the outside of it. And there we go. There's our cute little girl. All right, let's make the rest of our card. You're gonna first need a piece of boho blue. That is four by five and a fourth. And first, I'm going to cut a window out of the top of it using um, the largest stylish shape circle. Okay, I'm gonna run that through. And then you can keep that, do something else with that. Then we're gonna switch over. I'm gonna take off both of those plates. I'm gonna switch over to the Forever Plaid embossing folder. Let's see if I can get it open. I'm gonna set this down in here. And there's a line right there that helps you get it straight. And then you're gonna put plate four on the top. Now, ahead of time, I have cut out a, a little, I guess a wreath you would call it. It's from the Encircled in Nature dies. And I'm gonna put just some little tiny dots of glue. And we're gonna set that right on the outside of the outside edge of that circle, okay? Then I got a piece of our beautiful autumn paper, and I don't think those are pumpkins. I think they're probably flowers. Maybe they're pumpkins, but I just thought it went really well with this. You could use any of those pieces, any of the patterns there in that um, pack of paper. I'm gonna put a dimensional in each corner. And we'll set that right on top like that, okay? Now here's my card base. And I am gonna put dimensionals down here to be even with the dimensionals that we already have in place. And then we'll take, I hope I didn't mess my frame up because that glue is not dry. Let's see, hopefully it stays in place. There we go, okay. And then we'll put that right there in the center of our card front. I've got a piece of basic white that we're just gonna put in the middle, nothing fancy, just a piece of basic white. We could, you know, what would be a good idea is if I had kept a strip of that paper and put that on the inside. Now the sentiment, we're going to stamp on a Cajun Craze stylish shape, whoops, banner that I just wrinkled up See if I can get it to straighten out. I rubbed it with my embossing buddy to get rid of any static. I'm gonna stamp the Hay Pumpkin on the right side in Versamark, and we'll emboss it with gold embossing powder. All right. I haven't done a very good job with this. I could tell that I rocked my stamp when I stamped it, so I'm gonna to have to brush away that extra, I got ink there. When you have, when you're stamping with red rubber, you have to stamp straight up and straight down. Otherwise, you might get ink on the edges right here, these edges, 
which then is gonna transfer to paper, which is exactly what I did. <laughs> Rookie mistake. All right, gold embossing powder. So let's heat it up. Give it just a few seconds and it'll start turning bright and shiny. There we go. Now we'll bring back our card and let's see if I can straighten this thing up. Man, I have put this thing through the ringer. Let's put three dimensionals on here. What I normally recommend, especially when you're stamping with red rubber, is to stamp first and then do your die cutting. You will have such an easier time. You'll get it exactly where you want it. But for the video, I did it the opposite way. So when you, if you make this card, do your stamping first, then cut out your, your uh, banner. Look how cute she is. <laughs> Isn't she just the cutest? All right, last but not least, I've got some um, copper clay linen thread. We're gonna tie a bow. And we'll put this on with a glue dot. Now, you guys, make sure you click my, the link here on YouTube to go over my blog. There's gonna be a free PDF with a complete supply list and the measurements. Let's put that right up in the corner, as well as two other Warms My Heart projects. There you go, a fun fall card that just really is uh, just very cute. I love when we use blues and oranges together. All right, let me know if you have questions, everybody. Thanks so much, happy stamping, bye-bye.